what's going on, guys and gals. I'm up here on my website, DanaTucker.com, and we're going to say here and click on the wing rack. And we're going to talk about understanding the wing rack talkback section. Now, this should be very similar or maybe even the same as the rest of the wing mixers, but I can't confirm it because I don't own them. Now, what I do, guys, is I've got several videos up here uh, that go through the wing rack. And I try and list it with the software and things that I use and the firmware. And I make sure that it's up to date because we know how fast things are changing with Behringer. So if we click on this, it's going to bring up here and it's going to show you the things that I put up here. And it simply goes right down the line here. Everything that you see up here, we will discuss. If you want to know what the use send levels on, uh, the use the send levels, you turn it on and it will tell you what it means as you go through down here okay you read it for yourself so we're going to go ahead and jump down into wing edit and we'll go from there and when i get finished this video will be put right here on this page and just so you know uh, guys i didn't come out of the womb knowing this stuff i use an ai chatbot i go up here i tell it what i want to search what i want to do a video on it gives me the information i sit around i put it into practical application i try it i use it and i see if it works and when it does I put the video together, okay? I'm not 100% correct 100% of the time, but uh, I ain't off by too much, okay? So let's go ahead and jump down into Wing Edit. So here we go, guys. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is doesn't matter what view you're in, we're going to come up to the setup. We're gonna come to the audio section, and we're going to choose our talkback mic. Now, I'm gonna use channel 40 because uh, one of our members had a question about this, and uh, their issue was that they were getting sound coming through it even when they didn't have it latched open or they weren't trying to use their uh, talkback mic. So we, we can come over here now, and there it is, our talkback right there. And if I click this and I say, what do I want to use as the input? I'm going to use the second input from my AES 50A port. That's it right there. Okay. So now that I come over here, I'm going to adjust the gain. Check two, three, four. Check two, three, four. It is a headset mic. I'm going to add to bring it up. I want to get it up to around that negative 18 for the input here on this. Now, if we come back over and we look at this, number two, and I think this is where the issue lies because they're not the first person to ask this question. And if you raise this fader up, then you will not be able to stop it from coming through when you mute and unmute it or you latch it and unlatch your talkback section over here on the right, okay? So now if we go to our monitor section, there it is. Now the auto we talked about, uh, that will actually latch until I click it again. It will send it to the levels. I want, you know, the things that I wanna talk about is you have to adjust your talkback level. I'm gonna put this around the, uh, around zero. It's a good healthy signal. In anywhere in that area, don't, you don't have to go overboard with it. But now the auto dim, very, very important. If I'm going to send this to the main, then and, and I put this up to uh, 30 dBs, then it's going to mute this signal going to the main by 30 dBs. And we can check that real simple by simply going over here, as we can see, it's going out to the main right here. There's nothing coming in uh, anywhere else that it shouldn't be. That nine right there is my actual mix bus over here. Okay, but watch what happens now when I engage this. You see the main over here? You see how it dims down? Look at that right there. That's how we know the talkback is going to the main just like it should. Now looks what happened when I unlatch it. Okay, now we can do this another way as well. If we come to the monitor section, I'm going to send this also to, let's say, mix bus. 16 and we bring up our meters we can see that nothing's coming out of 16 everything's coming through the main like it should and if i latch it again now it's coming out of mix bus 16 and it's lowered the main as well okay so again it's not hard to set up if you follow the basic rules okay now talkback b is exactly the same setup as talkback a Okay, it just gives you different options on who you want to send it out to. Uh, Talkback A could be simply the people that you have going 
for your in-air monitors. Okay? That's all you want it for. And if you're running them through Matrix or however you want to run it, this is your options. Talkback B, you might just want to run through all of your mains. Maybe you got an active shooter. Maybe you want to talk to stagehands. Maybe you want to talk to somebody and not worry your musicians on stage. Okay? So that's real simple as well. So now if we hit B, there it is. See up there to the left, we've engaged Talkback B. Talkback A, there it is. Talkback A. Okay? I hope this has helped. If you have any questions, please let me know. Okay? Take care. God bless. And we are out of here.